Are you not sure when to hire a freelancer for your business? You're pretty good. Does it really pay to bring someone in from the outside world? We're going to talk about this today and a very important question that you need to ask. You may be wondering, who is this guy? My name is Ken Oakle. I'm a keynote speaker, and I talk to audiences about ways you can improve your performance on the job. I share insider knowledge from my time spent in broadcast news, hurricane relief, and professional ballet. Now, whoa, I know, unusual combination, but in each and every field, I had to perform at a high level every day under pressure. When to hire a freelancer, an important question to ask to yourself or other people in the organization, is my good good enough? We all have expertise in certain areas. We know certain things, but how good are we at that? For instance, I know a little bit about design. I can make some basic designs on my own. These are not ones that are going to go into a museum. These are relatively disposable, go out with social media. It's fine for what I'm trying to do. I realized, though, if I wanted to do a logo or something that would have more permanence, something that would be front and center in my business, I probably would want to hire a freelancer, someone who is really good at this thing. Because my good, it's not bad. Their good is a lot better than mine. Another consideration to think about if you're going to hire a freelancer, how much time does it take to do this thing? For me, for instance, with the design, it may take me a little while. I may have a learning curve. There may be new tools that I have to figure out how to use. Versus if you hire a freelancer, they're already really good at this stuff. They're up on it. They can get the work done better and faster than me. If all things were equal and you love doing that task and it doesn't take away from other things, sure, go ahead and do it. But if your best, the ceiling, it's kind of low and someone else can get it done better and faster, then you might want to hire a freelancer. Simple process. Consider it the next time you're at that fork in the road. Do I do it myself or do I hire a freelancer? For more about me, go to my website, which is kenokel.com. While there, you can watch some clips from my speaking presentations. You can read some of my articles and you can listen to my podcast, The Two. For more about me, go to my website, kenokel.com. While there, you can watch some clips of my speaking presentations, you can read some of my articles, and you can listen to my podcast, The Two Minute Takeaway. Thanks so much for watching. If you like these videos, like and subscribe. I think you're really going to enjoy what's coming down the road. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ken Okel. Take care.